Everybody reads into this move, trying to figure out what it means, David. Is it, is it that Buffett it thinks that his stock in the market is inexpensive and you should be buying, or is it more negative in that there, there's no M&A for him to do and there's no better use of, of cash for him? I don't think it means either of those things. Uh, and I don't mean to be critical of Mr. Buffett because he is the greatest investor of my lifetime. But this is somewhat par for the course with him. Do as I say, not as I do. Uh, their standards around stock buybacks seem to change whenever they want them to. And if you can fluctuate the book value rule for when you buy back, what's the point of having any rule at all? The fact of the matter is that he did um, buy a bunch of companies. He bought a billion dollars of his own stock that owns all of these different entities covering a number of different sectors across the U.S. economy. So if those things were considered to be overpriced, then why buy shares of your own company that holds them? I think it's a short-term place to do something with cash. I believe it was $18 billion of net income, so a billion in stock buybacks is somewhat insignificant. And, and I don't think an investor can read into that. But this is hardly the first time that Mr. Buffett is doing something different than what he advises others to do. To you. Finally, David, I know you don't make much of the move in a bigger way to buy back the stock. But what about the impact it's having on Berkshire up 5 percent? Would you be a buyer on this kind of news? Uh, well, we're not holders of Berkshire, although we are holders of some of the stocks that they own. But no, I wouldn't. And, and the reason is that there's a whole lot of reasons uh, related to Berkshire as far as what exactly their business model is. I, I alluded to it earlier, and, and I have a hard time with the idea of we're supposed to all be index investors, according to Mr. Buffett, except for him, the largest active investor of all time. We're supposed to avoid derivatives, the weapons of mass destruction, except for him, who has more swaps and hedges than than most hedge funds. I just don't necessarily care for that particular inconsistency in the culture and how it relates to investors like my clients. So I wouldn't be buying Berkshire, but I will say, Sarah, I think the stock's up because they had a remarkable quarter. There was a lot of very good news embedded mm -hmm. in their quarterly results. And then you add on a billion dollars of stock buyback. That doesn't hurt. It isn't driving it, though. But fundamentally, there's just an awful... These guys are highly levered to the U.S. economy. That's the genius of Mr. Buffett as an investor, is he uh, takes other people's fear and buys America with it. And he's done it for over 50 years successfully. This quarter is just proof of pudding, in, in the pudding. Yep, that, and that's a point. Over the last three months, it's up more than 8%, 15 over the last 12. Scott and David, thank you both for weighing in on this one.